Welcome back to New York. We continue our coverage of both today's primary season voting in the presidential election and today's terror attacks in Brussels, Belgium. ISIS terrorists are claiming responsibility for bombings that have killed at least 30 people and wounded dozens more. At least nine Americans were hurt in those attacks. U.S. officials say an Air Force officer and his family were among those injured. Mormon officials say three missionaries from Utah were seriously injured in the airport attack. President Obama made brief comments. We showed you earlier as he continued with his scheduled events in Cuba. So why is Brussels such a hotbed of Islamic terror activity? Correspondent Shannon Bream takes a look at some of the reasons tonight. Brussels has for many years been seen as a citadel of Islamist extremism. And the reasons appear to be plentiful from worries about open European borders. That has allowed a massive influx of radical Islamic terrorists into Europe. To growing unrest among disaffected young Muslims in segregated neighborhoods where economic challenges are numerous and the younger generation feels caught between their parents' traditions and the desire to be fully integrated into European society. We know that once immigrant populations find themselves plugged in, then they have much more of a reason to kind of invest in their communities. But when you don't feel plugged in and you're struggling ab about that, uh, there, there might be a time where you check out. Belgium reportedly has the highest per capita number of foreign fighters. Hundreds who have traveled to join terror groups on the battlefields in Syria and Iraq, only to return, some of them, to plan attacks closer to home. There's also an ongoing delicate debate about segregated neighborhoods, like many within Molenbeek, a Brussels suburb linked to numerous terror suspects, and where some argue a subset of the residents either condone the activity or simply look the other way. There is a very specific and tangible problem in terms of Brussels in terms of political correctness that people want. Well, we talk about the idea of no-go zones, which some people exaggerate, but the idea that you cannot confront people on the fringe of political Islam. Belgian authorities seem to be struggling to keep up with hundreds of investigations and tracking operations. The former head of the country's domestic intelligence agency has said he warned about this threat for years, pushing for more resources and personnel, only to be told budget cuts would make that impossible. Brett? Shannon, thank you.